the number one Sierra Padres took a field trip up to Kizar Stadium to take on the Sacred Heart Cathedral fight in Irish. We got some highlights coming up. A lot of highlights. Get Sports Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing. Weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Welcome back, Teddy Chung and JoJo Latu. First quarter of the game, Fighting Irish looked to move the ball one play at a time, but it was difficult because of these guys. Jabari Man with a big hit, followed by Timo Paloka. Same drive, man is on the player of the year watch list for sure. He was the second overall pick in our GSF All-Star draft last season. Ethan Castle selected him. That was a nice play there by Mr. Mann. And this was interesting. First drive for the Sierra Padres offense. First gave it to Mann. And then Danny Niu. He's another three-star athlete committed to San Diego State. And then we get a little bit of Joseph Bay with the ball. Got in on the action. Mann and Bay are San Jose State commits. And of course, Jaden Green, who is the regular at that position. Nice run here for a first down. Six different Padres touched the ball in the first drive. Jaden Lim, you'll see more of him later. And they finally scored. John Halthaus and Scott Kirkpatrick with a pancake block for Mr. Green. Extra point was good, seven to nothing, Sarah Padres. One thing that Sigurd Hart did in this game, which I'm sure a lot of the other teams will do against Sarah, is to slow the game down by taking the full play clock. But it didn't matter. Man, with a punt block, he had a couple of those. That led to this touchdown by Nano Latu. He's too quick. I, I almost missed him crossing the end zone. That made it 14 zip. And speaking of Mr. Latu, Nano Latu, he actually scored another one in the second quarter. Latu with the carry. This boy's quick. That made it 21 to zero. I'm gonna show you guys three defensive plays and that'll be it. Neil, two takedown. And this one hurt Joseph Bay with a big hit on the QB. As the ball was thrown, Bay unfortunately got hurt. He is questionable for next week's game. Looked like he might have a deep bruise in his right bicep. Bay went out of the game after that. But this is what the rest of the WCAL have to look forward to. It'll be fun to watch how everyone will come out against Sarah. Still in the second. Keon Loud, another three-star recruit that can do multiple things. Sarah's deep. Too deep. 24 yards on that play for Mr. Loud. Same drive. Here's the best QB in NorCal. Milwaukee Smith. To the best tight end in NorCal, Cole Harrison. Touchdown, Sarah. Smith actually ran one in just before they had to make it 35 to 0 Padres at the half. Third quarter, we're almost done. Jaden Lim got his turn to take one in and he earned it. He's a senior and he's a baller, just like his brother. And this is now Sarah's second teamers causing havoc. The bottom of the fire forced the turnover. Jujun Jennings, Isaiah Samifua in on that play. Give me a double dose of Brooks Trimmer. You know what? I think we need my man to be part of the senior all-star game in December. Brooks, you are invited. Heroes need a dual threat QB. Padres had 49 points at that point. Thanks to Brooks. Touchdown run. And they added two more. We might as well show it. Fourth quarter, top dog, Christopher Yoon. I'm a fan of this kid since we saw him at our camp when he was a freshman. He got speed. 44, no, 54 yards to the end zone. Coach Andrew predicted 35 zip. I predicted Sarah putting up 63 points. And that was two points off. Trayvon Rout ran one in after a turnover. Extra point was blocked. 
So that made it 61 for Sarah. And I'll end with this, my man Spink. He got in and made a play and that got the entire Sarah sideline crazy. Wanna wish Sacred Heart Cathedral the best for the rest of the season. They'll take on Midi at Foothill next week. Sarah will have a showdown against the Lancers on Saturday. Make sure to watch our prediction segment Tuesday. Enjoy the post-game interview with Danny Nia, Coach Walsh, and our guy, Jojo Latu. Watch it get sports focused. We're 0-0. We're it's always nice to start the WCL off 1-0. Um, and I thought this group did a great job of handling this game with a great degree of maturity. Um, you know, and I think that that's a reflection of our senior leadership. Uh, we knew what it was when we came in. We would try our hardest to get all the bottom of the fire in the twos in. And we came out, well, the ones came out and did what we needed to do, and we got them on the field. And they didn't let us down, they went straight. They actually completed our goal of 4 for 4. They got two um, t turnovers, we got two picks by Zay and Aaron. It's also great to see the the uh, the great enthusiastic sideline with the with the guys that afforded them the opportunity to get in that game. And they talked a lot about that in chapel yesterday about uh, you know being mature and handling themselves uh, with a great degree of maturity, so they can, if if everything goes our way, get those guys in the game. And when they did, you know, I know they're kind of goofing around. They got the headsets on, and uh, I, I'm fine with that because they they've earned the right to let their teammates get in the game, have fun with it, and uh, it was great to see you know guys like Spink making tackles and Aaron Meyer went in there. Like these are all the, these are the future of, of our school. Um, you know, some of the young guys out there getting reps in, in, in varsity football games bodes well for the future. So it was great. You know, sometimes the twos will go in the game or threes or whatever you got going on and, and there's fumbles and balls on the ground and sloppy and it's just kind of a sour taste. But tonight was, it was a, a, an awesome job by the entire team playing 48 minutes in a different type of 48 minute game. We talk about that all the time, right, Alf, about playing 48 minute games. and. To have our uh, our twos, our threes, our fours, guys go in there and preserve the shutout and move the football and score points. You know, I know it means a lot to not only them but the, the all the Ohana. You know, there's people in the stands that that love that 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 boy out there on that field that uh, that did the best he could to um, to keep the brand of Sarah football where it is. So I'm very very pleased with the team tonight. It's been it's been a minute. Uh, having my injury in February. And it's good to be back. You know, it's been a long process, and I have a lot of teammates encouraging me, you know, by my side. Uh, Duke and Kevin, big shout out to them. You know, uh, they've been a, a, a big help in this process. And uh, it's just nice to be back, finally. Oh, yeah, Jay! 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 Oh, yeah, Jay!